Welcome to getting started with IntelliDash. This short video will show you the steps to select the widgets you would like to appear on your dashboard, show you how to move these widgets around to a desired location, how to expand some of the widgets to view additional information, and finally, how to change the size of your web browser in order to be able to see more widgets. To get started, when you first log in, you will have a blank dashboard. In the top left corner of the screen, you will see your facility name. Moving over to the right, click the drop down arrow to view available widgets. Select those that you would like on your dashboard by placing a check mark next to the name. There may be widgets that you don't need at this time, but when the time comes to add another widget, simply select the widget from this location and it will be added to your dashboard. For this example, I will select the NSN and weather widgets. These widgets will automatically populate with data and no special setup is needed. Your weather widgets are customized to the postal code that you associated with your account at Setup. If you would like to move the widgets to a new location, simply unlock them by clicking on the lock icon in the upper right hand corner. By doing this, you will see arrows within each widget providing guidance on the direction options the widget can be moved. To move the widget, click and drag it to the desired location. Please keep in mind the formatting may look slightly different if you are viewing the dashboard on your phone or tablet. Also, place your most used widgets at the top so that they are easily accessible when you're opening up your dashboard. When you've completed moving your widgets, click the unlock icon to lock them into place. This configuration will be saved until you unlock and move them again. Please know that your dashboard can be customized on each device, meaning what you enable on your phone can be different from what you have on your PC, and it also can be different from another person on your team, since we know that what information is important for you might not be the widgets that are most important to another person on your team. Some of the widgets can be expanded to view additional information. To determine if your widget can be expanded, click on the right side until you get a double arrow and then drag it to the right to expand the widget for more detailed information. And finally, if you would like to be able to see more widgets on your dashboard, you can do this by clicking on the three dots in the upper right hand corner of your browser. When doing this, this will display a drop down menu. In the zoom section, you will see a plus and a minus sign. To reduce the size of the widgets, simply click the minus sign until you see the size of the widgets you would like to have on your dashboard. Click outside of the box when you're done and your widget will be set to that size. If you have any questions regarding the information covered in this video, please send an email to nsntech at toro.com.